What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell, and I'm making a quick commercial here for SeerCustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxana. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. And I just want to make a quick video to say you are watching the 300th episode of what used to be the TOT Revolution podcast. And then obviously in the last two and a half years now has become the Jay Campbell podcast. So I'm extremely grateful, obviously humbled and privileged to have so many of you who listen to me and find my information valuable. And of course, to my amazing guests, I've had so many of them. It's impossible to name them. Um, Obviously, I'm very humbled to have Danny Vega, who's a very, very amazing influencer you know, personality, uh, biohacker, just an amazing guy, uh, like me, living in residence, you know, fighting the good fight, so to speak. And it's just a true blessing to be here where I am today. Who would have thought, you know, three years ago when I was just the testosterone optimization therapy guy that I could have changed everything and become Jay Campbell, the Razor Vibration guy. So here I am today, and I'm blessed. And again, I'm just very humbled and grateful to have all of you guys watching this. So please uh, enjoy this episode. There's going to be a part two. Uh, and, and of course, um, continue to follow me online. And I promise you, you have my highest and best uh, concern that I will be here leading from the front and helping to raise the vibration of humanity to create a collective consciousness of unconditional love. Um, I send all of you guys tremendous love and light. If I can, if I can reach you, if I can help you in any way, you know how to get a hold of me. You can leave your comment, obviously in this video, or you can email me at contact at jccampbell.com. So again, I'm very grateful, very humbled. Thank you so much for your support over the years. And I promise you that this is going to continue. If you're interested in the Sear customs, amazing products, you remember you can get any of that stuff. You can stop your hair loss rejuvenate and revitalize and restore your face with our royal blue serum and sky blue cream and ladies and of course now we have the uh, uh, oxano brow and lash to restore luscious lashes remember use the code j a y 15 to take 15 percent off your purchase i send you guys tremendous love and light enjoy the show well hello everybody around the world wherever you might be i am your trusty podcast host jay campbell and you are watching the jay campbell podcast and i am extraordinarily blessed, humbled and privileged. And of course, honored today to be with my good friend, fellow illuminary, fellow biohacker, fellow beast of a human being. And as a man and as a parent and as a father and as a husband, Danny Vega, Danny, what's up, bro? Dude, it's just like, it's so good to be here, man, in a place where I can just, this is a whole different story. When I get on the podcast with you, because every time we talk, it's just, it's a different thing, man. Like I could just, it's like I could completely let it go on this podcast and i know that everything's going to be good so good to be here man it's awesome man so you guys so most of you guys on this that follow me know who danny is but for those of you guys who are new and don't 
He's a performance coach. He's also, of course, a podcast host, an author. He's a super spreader of the alpha variant. I mean, look at him. He's a native of Miami, Florida. He's received his bachelor degree in, P in political science, kind of like me, from Columbia in 2004, where he played football and was a three-time Dean's List recipient, of course. Uh, he also earned his Master of Science in Human Performance from the University of Florida, where he worked with the National Championship men's basketball team. That's right, along with the tennis and golf programs. Billy D. He then went on to become the strength and conditioning coordinator for VCU basketball, helping the Rams become the 2007 conference champions. I remember that year. That was when they beat, uh, was that when they beat Kansas? We beat what Duke in the first round Duke, of the tournament. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And making it to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Um, as a raw power lifter, he has made best. He has meet best of 640 squat, 400 pound bench and 700 pound deadlift. He's done a lot of other things. I mean, Danny is an absolute beast. He has one of the best physiques of anybody in the biohacking space, probably the best. And, you know, I say that as a guy with also a very amazing physique. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. Thank yeah, you. So, I mean, like Danny is just world-class, but when him and I get together, <laughs> we actually don't really talk about all that stuff. And we could at the highest of levels of biohacking and, you know, uh, nutrition and, you know, metabolic flexibility and fasting and keto and carnivore and again, lifting and explosive performance and drugs and ergogens and everything. We could talk about all that shit at the highest level, but that's not why we're here today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, besides like when you get to our level where we've done this for so long, you notice that it just it, it, it comes back around to like keeping it simple. Exactly. You know, it's like you have all these tools and in, in the at the end of the day, it comes back to real simple principles on, on in all of those subjects that we follow that you know it's hard for for the the beginner to see that because their 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 eyes are just like shining from all this you know these new exercises that they're seeing and all that but at the end of the day man it's 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 almost 30 years now it's 26 years of of consistency just getting the big buckets right you know exactly man and you know, I will tell you guys that 100% that, you know, Danny and I talk a lot behind the scenes about a lot of different things. And, you know, for the purposes of this podcast, this might be a two-part podcast, depending on how deep this conversation goes. Uh, but it's today is September 9th, 2021. And obviously for all of you guys that are going to be watching this whenever this podcast breaks, and it'll break sometime this year, um, and maybe really soon, depending on how amazing this is, uh, the world is in absolute turmoil right now. People are feared you know, into basically, uh, how would I even say it? Like just they're, they're so, so conditioned at this point you have what I would call the line of demarcation is, you know, those of us who are empowered, sovereign and free, and we rely on ourselves, you know, and that comes down to obviously immunity that comes down to economics, our financial livelihood. And of course it comes down to keeping our families in a way that is insulated. And then you have the folks that are on the other side of the fence or lining the sand. So it's like, you know, we have this, you know, just gigantic bifurcation and, you know, people again have decided or chosen to be on one side or the other. And, you know, obviously you and I are very advanced in our awareness and spirituality and all that stuff. And it's, you know, it's, it, it's always true to not judge people for the decisions that they made, right? Because every soul is choosing what they perceive to be as best for them. So I know from our conversations that, you know, both of us are not judging what side of the fence you are on. You're doing that right as a soul or, or as a soul level for evolution and growth. And so that's cool. But in this podcast today, you know, you and I are going to talk, have some talking points about just like where humanity is where we see it going and just how crazy everything is, but maybe just give me your big picture summation of right now, like what is going on and where do you see us going from here? Dude, I, I just like, you know, I went through a bunch of phases in the last year. Uh, you, I know we were going through some of these phases at the same time, you know, getting caught up in spells along the way, you know, for yeah. a week, a month at a time, and then yeah. snapping out of it and allowing like, the knowledge to really sink in and yeah. and then just like now i'm at a point where two things number one i can look at things way more dispassionately which helps sure. me because it also helps me because i'm so interested in what they've done because it's just like it's it, it what we were saying like it's just perfectly crafted um but it's like when you look at back at it and you see 
every little step along the way preparing us for for things and when you see the fact that all of this was was known that it was going to be coming for not decades you know i'm talking about thousands almost of years you know hundreds and hundreds of years exactly so um so the other part is that i'm not fully independent yet and i and that's something that in the back of my head i'm like completely moving in that direction and i know that will never be completely but at least i know i got two people here in this two groups here in this community locally that we've already started to make plans and just kind of getting my skills up across the board but you know where i am now we're very similar me personally you know you're at that point where um you know in your group in your in your um whatsapp you know you're 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 really just pushing that white pill because everybody was like oh take the red pill and then you got the black pill people right. like all of these fake truthers right. and fake exactly. you know sources of knowledge that people look to where all they're doing is contributing to your trauma because they're telling you totally. this is terrible this is terrible you notice they never talk about a solution never solutions that's one the black pill. The divide yeah. and conquer divide and conquer keep you attached to one side of the fight yeah and just be like just just sucking in that fear porn and just like really taking it in so that's where i am now the the world we know that across the board even the people who think that you know have this uh, superficial knowledge of, you know, the, the, the scriptures, the, everything that you can think of, they have this false sense of like, I don't know. It's, it's like, they don't, they don't truly understand what's going on and everybody's going to be deceived, even the elect, as they say. And so when I think of that, I think like, how can I do this without being the guy who's like just every single day on the street corner? Because I have, like we talked about, we have businesses to run. We have, you know, families to feed. So for me, like, I'm always going to put out that example in my own life of, you know, how I'm just living. Exactly. But then at the same time, you know, if people ask me questions, I'm going to give them the answers, you know, you and I'm going to give them 100% truth. Yep. You know, there's not no there's, filter. No, no filter. filter. There's not a week that goes by where I don't say something where I lose four or 500 followers. And um, <laughs> it's it's fine, you know, but the, at the same time, I understand that like that hurts business a little bit. But, right. you know, that's why I'm, I'm even doing other things like going back to the old school, you know, right. being here, doing stuff in person. Um, and so the the world, you know, it's it's not like we all have free will, but it's like, it's one of those things where there's going to be a, a very large number of people who are just going to be either they're just NPCs, you know, just in the background, just part of the map, or like they are just going to be completely deceived. And that's not going to change no matter what. Right. I'm just going to do my part to, to just say that I did my part, you know, that, so that's, that's where I think we are, man. But I just, you know, you think to yourself, all the things that have happened in the last year and a half, you're like, okay, that's the red line right there. That's where people are going to push back. And it kept going further and further and they kept not pushing back. Now I'm just like, <laughs> there's no, you know, there's no, there's no, there is no red line apparently for people. Well, so to, you said a lot of things to unpack. So I'll just say to define it for this podcast, because it's probably going to go to podcasts and it's going to be really deep is like, when we say they, we're basically talking about an invisible control structure that has existed since the beginning of time. And anyone who is familiar with the scriptures or the ancient texts, whether you're in the Eastern, you know, the they're all the same. Or, they're they all, all the talking about the same thing. They just give them different names. You just got to know it. You know, you just got to know. All the same. Yeah. It literally is all the same. And, 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 you know, and again, as a student of all of those things, I always default to the Gnostics. Now, obviously the Gnostics also, is truth with error, right? Because the yep. Gnostic texts were mysteriously released in 1948 at the same time that the United uh, Israel was created. And Israel, right? became, yeah, Israel yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. As a country. <laughs> yeah, they just you know, magically showed up in these bottles somewhere in the desert. Yeah. So yeah. we know what is going on here. But so for people can understand when we say they, we're narrating is that it literally it is a hidden hand. Yeah. And the hidden hand as explained by Altion Childs, who's this 
actor who was like famous as a reality television show for what was it called fear factor or yeah, not i think fear it was factor. wasn't it one of those um one of those talent shows in a, yeah in it was a talent show Australia. it doesn't even matter extreme whatever but yeah. so this dude credit to him was initiated um as a freemason or a masonic right the highest level and so he did this video that's now been up since april which again danny you know we could even discuss this like how it's still up on youtube you know it's weird. either it's either that there's black magic behind it in some capacity or that there's also angelic, you know, the white side again, because everything is duality protecting yep. it. So we get enough people to watch this, but anyway, to make it really quick and we'll link to the video. If it's still around by the time this podcast comes they out, they keep marrying it though. They're marrying. I, I know. I know. So, so hopefully we'll have ability to link to the video, but it's a profound video. It's five hours and 17 minutes. Most people will not watch it as you know, Danny, because Dude, I've seen it several times. There's just it's, so much in it. There's so much in it, but most people, as you know, unless you're kind of people like us and there's, we are a small minority, a growing minority, but still small, won't watch the whole thing. And as you also know, most people who are even somewhat awake cannot suffer a total reality collapse, yeah. you know, and we can use, you know, AJ without saying his name, but you know, <laughs> that's a perfect guy in perfect. the so-called truth and awareness community of 20 plus years who now has been proven a patsy. Now, again, yeah. without throwing shade on him, it's obvious there's a lot of material now in the universe that shows like who he's funded by, who, he's, who his family is. I mean, it's obvious that he's also part of this, you know, what I, you could call it sinister network of disinformation. But the bottom line is, you know, and I'll go send it back to you, is that they are, again, a group of elite masonic freemasons if you want to call them at the highest levels and even the majority of people that they convert are like unwitting stooges who don't really know like what's really going on and so what's really going on is that there's like an interdimensional piece to this of what you would call lucifer the devil satan the demiurg yaldabaoth as you said there's a thousand different oh, names different depending names, on the yeah. culture yeah depending on the culture and that this person is ruling from the shadows or being, I should say, from the shadows by, you know, subversion, by, again, controlling these high level humans that are considered elites, Illuminati's, whatever you want to call them, just the rulers of this third dimensional physical construct. And in the video, again, the five hour and 17 minute hour, five hour and 17 minute video, as you said, there's so much profound awareness that's revealed. But you have to watch the whole thing and you have to literally focus. And 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 also, Danny, and I want your comments on this. You have to be okay with changing what you thought was true or collapsing the narrative that you have been taught through religion, through politics, through entertainment, through Hollywood, through the news, for any mainstream narrative, even social media. Yep. And most people, as you know, Danny, cannot deal with reality collapse. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, the, <laughs> I, I, I tell people this, man, I've been, I've had experience asking questions for a long time now. I, I was in New York city when, you know, 7-Eleven was a part-time job happened. And um, 2001, September, I was there. I was in the city when that happened. And that was the first time I kind of got into stuff and it was the first time that I asked myself questions about things. And what, what ends up happening is you realize that you were wrong. And then exactly. you ask questions again, and then you realize you were wrong again. And so I've been wrong so many times that at this point, it's so easy to ask the questions. Yeah. But there's this illusion that so many people have. And that's where you talked about like your whole worldview, your whole foundation being ripped from under you that's just way too scary for them. But in reality, you start to learn, number one, that the world is so much cooler yeah, than exactly. what you thought. Like, you know, we are, it's like, how is it, how do these people get these ideas for these movies? It's like, these movies are much closer to the truth than you think. It's like, you're seeing all this Lord of the Rings. And, and I mean, we could break down all of these movies and show how realistic they were, but we have become as a society, not us, but like uh, the majority of people have gotten so locked into this materialist thing right. that really is just an illusion. And, and it's like the Masons, right? Like they, they hate, you know, um, 
atheists as much as they hate Christians because, you know, right. they, they, they think that, you know, you can't be an atheist. You have to believe in something. And, you know, so they think all of that. And so it's funny when people th talk, walk around saying like, I'm a, I'm an atheist when science. that whole thing. Yeah. Science that that was all created <laughs> for you, you know, to just hold you back. And in the meantime, they're doing every spiritual thing that you can think of magic, sex magic, yes. you know, death magic, all this stuff. And people are just like, oh my gosh, you're out there. That's insane. And you start telling them how they play with numbers and how they play with, you know, dates and things like that. And, and you just lose people. But then it's like, I always say now I'm at the point where it's like, okay, I'm a, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I'm going to call you a coincidence theorist. I heard someone say that. And I thought that's brilliant because you have to be a coincidence theorist to think all of these things are coincidences. So, um, yeah, no, man. Brilliant. There's no coincidence. There's only synchronicities. Again, you, I want you to go back. Uh, you, you're saying a lot. Um, the rea the reality is, is that people fear death. If we really go to the big yeah, picture, that's a big one, yep. when you're spiritually aware, like you and I are, we know that we're energy. We're not Danny Vega, the body, Jay Campbell, the body, even though they're really nice body. <laughs> but the reality is, is that we're spiritual beings having a physical experience and we know that we're never going to die, right? This yep. energy of Danny and this energy, it's soul, right? Soul energy of Danny, spirit energy of Jay, whatever you want to look at it, depending on your spiritual awareness, is going to keep going because we know that energy cannot be destroyed. It's infinite. It's ever expanding and contracting. So when you get to that level, you're like, fuck it, man. I don't give a shit what they do to me. A giant reptilian, dragon, Nephilim, whatever can show up right here in front of me right now while you and I are doing this podcast and eat me. And I will stick out my head and say, go for it, dude. I'm coming <laughs> back. Yeah, man. You see what I'm saying? So most yeah. people, and, and again, and I don't want to like piss people off, but we will, have been so conditioned by religion. And I don't care what yeah. religion you are. Yep. Okay. Catholic, Presbyterian, fundamentalist, Christian, Islamic, Buddhist, Taoist. It's all the same as you very eloquently and elegantly stated already. They want us to fear death and what is after death so that they can control how we think and feel and move and react and act here now. So if you're constantly afraid of what you don't know, right, which is the afterlife or the fear of a whatever, and obviously the afterlife has been conditioned. If you're good, you'll go to the heavenly gates, right? You know, yep. Peter and God and his chalice. I mean, it's mind blowing. Every other religion or, or spiritual discipline has something similar. So it's like, dude, the truth is, and I want your thoughts is each of us has to choose to get to a place where we understand quantum physics or just particle physics where energy cannot die. If you believe that you are an energy being, and if you obviously have any spiritual awareness, you already know that, then you're not going to be led by these people, these master masons, these Luciferians, these demon devil worshiping, whatever you want to call it, beings who control this third dimensional you know, control structure you know, into some other reality. I mean, like they can tell us whatever they want. They can show me, you know, you say Lord of the Rings. I mean, you know, I was a huge fan, you know, uh, what's his name? The, the, the author Tolkien, he's a master Mason, Yeah, literally yep. a master Mason. You can watch his movie and they even show you in the movie that came out like two years ago. Yep. Right. And there's so, a bunch of Masonic stuff in there. You just got to see know, it. Dude. So, but you, but you already said it, you, you know, they're not showing us anything that hasn't, hasn't already happened in the past with some part of like holographic, you know, futuristic reality or something like that. Because like you said, the movies always become or seemingly real. So, yeah. so again, my point is, and your reaction is that don't we just have to get to a place where we are not afraid of dying, you know, finite existence, whatever you want to call it. And then you can be free to live your life, to do, you know, high vibrational things, serve, at your highest capacity or your highest and best capacity. I mean, most people, as you know, Danny, they engineer them to stay down here in this like low vibratory fear, victim mindset field. And so they never can ever get out of it. And that's why they're so easily conditioned. You know, you call them NPCs, whatever they are. Yeah. It's so simple to keep them in, in trained and enslaved because they can't love and trust themselves or even think vibrationally. What is my bigger purpose and mission here? 
Dude, yeah. I mean, the first thing everyone needs to understand is that we're all eternal. Like we we will all literally we are all of us are eternal. So like, you know, the question is that so this true. is, you know, what type of eternity are you gonna have? I mean, you know, I think a lot of it is is based on the decisions you make, you know, and everything is a lie. Like Jay and I were cracking up before we got on the air because it's like everything is a lie. And it's like, um, I know it sounds crazy, but like think about the, the way the Bible is like they make it the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then, you know, it just so happens that we have 66 books now and, and they took out some really good ones too, some really good ones that like Enoch, for example, like Enoch, what's in there is just it's just unreal because it just it spells it all out. So, they took out all everything that was real. They also took out the Gospel of Paul, the Gospel of Mark. They took out everything. There's a bunch real, of stuff dude. because it's like they had to. They had to have the narrative. And when I say again, when we say they, and we we talked about the fact that there is this this hidden hand, and you know when people ask me who they are, I tell them there's many names. There's Rosicrucians. There's Jesuits. There's Kabbalists. Like certain levels of of like these these Kabbalists and these. Um, some on some level it's it's crazy when you look at the alchemy stuff some people are using that which that's what the masons do right they they use stuff you know in a way that's going to pervert it and it's going to um hurt people so that's them and a lot of them are not even aware that they're being influenced like you know people need to understand this is a really high level form of um compartmentalization where like jay is being tempted with for example, sex, let's say, and then Danny's being tempted with, you know, financial ruin. And so all the buttons are being pushed to get us to do the devil's work. Um, and you just have to have enough courage to, 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 to say no to that, you know, because there's a lot of power in no. And is it going to get worse? It's going to get much worse. But like the fact that so many people are losing their minds over potentially like losing access to travel or potentially losing your job when you know that, you know, if this all, if any of this went to court, you wouldn't lose your job because all of it is illegal. But again, you get so many people to just voluntarily give their soul away and, right. and it's, it, it works brilliantly, you know? So uh, I, I agree that like people have to stop being afraid of dying. And um, you know, for me, I've been, reading more than ever i've been looking in places where i never looked before and i'm seeing so many things that just confirm to me we already know that like you know like you said we're spiritual we're, we're this is just this meat suit and we have this access to this higher power that is all knowing all seeing you know and 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 we have access to it and and god gives me insight nowadays right. the cleaner i get the cleaner everything gets, right. you know, like, you know, I haven't watched porn in, in a long time. I haven't, right. you know, done anything like that and, and not drinking just these, these um, messages and this insight that I get is, you know, directly from God. Like it's really getting clearer and even everybody knows about it, you know, and like you said, we've, we've messed up the clock so much, so we don't know what time we're living in, but even then we know that right around now, and I don't like, for example, like I'm not someone who who counts on astrology for anything in my life, but I do know that, you know, there's an order to it and, Absolutely. you know, there's an order to Absolutely. everything. And so like when we see like, okay, what is the age of Aquarius really about? It's about people seeing the truth. And so exactly. Awareness. truth is coming out. Yeah. It's just coming out quicker, quicker, quicker. And more and more people are are seeing this. And I think this is really good. But then I also know it's the precursor to things getting really, really bad. Absolutely. So you better Absolutely. be prepared now, physically, spiritually, emotionally, to for things to get worse. Because this is nothing. Like, Dude. this is nothing. <laughs> there will be 100-foot Nephilim. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with U.S. Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself 
helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. You just said a lot again and I want to, <laughs> I want, I want to back up to what you said because it's important that people know you know who we are um we are very very advanced in our awareness but we're also highly spiritual so whoever yeshua aka jesus aka the word aka the christos aka whatever these names they have you know hijacked a lot of the religions right like jesus christ of nazareth is likely an invention of the romans because the Romans were obviously under the influence of, again, the hidden hand. But Jesus, a.k.a. Yeshua, a.k.a. the Christos, a.k.a. the Word, a.k.a. whatever it is, is an avatar spiritual being. It's like an essence, this advanced energy and frequency of God or source or whatever you want to call it, came into this prison <laughs> shithole to tell us that, as you said very well, that God was accessible through us, that we could connect to the God energy through connection to our higher self, which is, you know, what I want to call your spirit or your soul. So it's like, you know, the Bible, you know, all the ancient texts that had anything to do with Jesus, you know, there's a guy uh, who's an amazing um, spiritual uh, decoder named Theodore Nottingham. And he's decoded like all the Gnostic gospels. And, you know, he is the guy that like it, it could decode the wording that, you know, supposedly was in the Bible when Jesus would talk to his disciples or the disciples would decode what Jesus was saying again. And again, if it was 2000 years ago and you and I don't know if that's true. Yeah. The, the reality is, is that when he came or that being came, and I'm sure that being has come many times into this physical shithole to teach people again, <laughs> to connect to God inside us. Most people didn't understand the words that he was using, right? So now you have people that are capable of decoding what Jesus said. Again, Yeshua, Jesus, whatever, and the energy. And when he said the kingdom of God was inside you, this is what you and I know to be from doing inner work. Now, inner work can be a lot of different things to a lot of people. It can be meditation. It can be contemplation. It can be introspection. It can literally be sitting in your backyard with your dog, fully grounded into nature. And being shut up and silent without your fucking Bluetooth headphones or your, you know, your uh, iPhone or your Android or whatever it is. And just literally sitting in pure stillness. When you do that regularly, you will become much more receptive and aware to the things that you and I are talking about. But I, you know, I wanted to just to make the state that like, you know, we've been down all the paths you know, the Christian task, probably Catholic. I'm sure you were raised Catholic. I was raised Catholic. And look at what the Catholic church is doing. Look at what oh all the God, churches the are Catholic doing. Catholic church is the seat of the dark side. Like, dude, Literally. Pope Francis, you know what he said when he first took office? He said, he said, this whole idea that we can have communion with God and a personal relationship with God without the Catholic church is a superstition and it's dangerous. When it's someone's insane. telling you that, you got to know that they are not, they're not on your team. And, and, you know, we don't see the, the, the stuff that they're writing. These people are complete opposite of what they're portraying themselves are as, but the cool thing is, like we said, all of this stuff is becoming more out in the open. Exactly. So, so that's a good thing because, but I, I really do, you know, when you think of Christmas, when you think of Easter, when you think oh all God, these people all celebrating all these holidays Black that magic. they're not Ooh. they're Yeah. They're not have nothing to do with, with like the message of Yeshua. And I love how you use his name because the word, the letter J didn't even exist till the know, 16th dude. century. So it's I like I all the names, you know, right. dividing the old Testament, the new Testament, taking books out, you know, the Bible says, you know, it says that 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 the word of God is never going to be hidden from us, and exactly. so even if it's even if it's taken apart, it's always going to be here still for those who look. Um, yeah. And there's always like the the temptation of of you know you really have to look at yourself and understand that like your it's not that it's not it's your heart it's what's in your heart. Like if I'm if I'm out here trying to get this knowledge because I want some secret knowledge that other people don't have and I want this leg up on other people, then it's gonna, it's, it's gonna do me really wrong. But if exactly. I'm doing it for a good reason, then the knowledge that will be given to me and I can, I can help people. And that's, that's really like where I'm at now. But the thing is, 
you and I are like, we talk about our, 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 we have our businesses, we have everything. We have to look at that because it's like, wait, I thought Jay was, you know, the biohacker guy. Why is he talking about all this stuff? Right. Because it's important, you know? It's really, really important. <laughs> kind it's of funny. important. I'm glad you said that because I wasn't even going to get to that point. But like, you know, my wife told me this like four years ago as we started to, you know, become whatever we are. And she would, she would like notice my wife is a very, you know, like your wife, you know, Mara, amazing woman. You know, we, we, we have very, very advanced spiritual teachers and mentors, even in our wives, right? You and I are very blessed in that regard. Yeah, but my wife said something to me that was very interesting, like four years ago. She's like, I noticed that people on social media are only really looking at us as entertainment, you know, whether it's our bodies, it's our, our, our feats of performance or whatever it is we do. And if you ever like take an stand, right. And this is four years ago, right. An opinion, obviously this is blown away from you and me now, but like four years ago, she was like, they will literally like you're we're essentially to them circus animals. Yeah. And so if we speak our mind or say something other than just show off our abs or whatever it is, like they'll literally flip out at you. And I was like, where do you get that from? And now obviously she was like so prescient, so advanced, but it is true. People like us, and there are many who have attained this mind body mastery this wholeness that we have, you know, like we understand like how to get into the best shape and how to lower our inflammatory factors and how to live forever, essentially, are then also able to receive these spiritual downloads so that you and I could talk about this. So like, I think, I know my audience knows this and I know your audience knows this now too, because I'm, you're like one of the only people I actually look at when I'm on social media, when I'm on Instagram. And I've told you that, but it's like, the reality is people know now that when guys like you and I get together and we talk about this, that we really do have a supremely, and again, I'm not saying this egoically, this is as a point of fact, a supreme advanced understanding because bro, we've done the work. We've yeah. read these books and see, this is where people get lost today. The trap is they're not doing the work. Yeah. And you know, my wife will be the first person to say that like, Hey, you can read till the cows come home. If you don't sit there in stillness to truly like observe like what is going on from a standpoint of like, you know, God will, in, you know, infiltrate your brain, infiltrate your heart, infiltrate your body, then, you know, all that book knowledge is great, but you got to have both. You know, it's like the, the, the old, what was it? The old adage of like, you know, you can know the lyrics to the song, but can you feel the tune? Yeah. So in the truth, like you and I, we know the lyrics to the song from 30, 25, 30 years of like mastering, reading the lyrics of the song, you know, through our books, through our research and stuff. But we also do the work to feel the tune. So it's like when you and I come out now and we can talk about this stuff, it's like, wait, but we have an inner awareness. And then I would call the external or outer awareness from the reading. But most people have only one or the other. And this is where I always get into, you know, I would say debates, you no know, heated discussions with people, because like you cannot get to a specific level without doing some of both. And I would tell younger people today, like if you don't research, how are you going to make comments? And as you know, and we talk about this in our groups, the young people of today have literally been pushed into the go along, get along world. Yeah, it's sad. Everybody else is doing it, Danny. So it must be okay. Why shouldn't I do it too? I mean, that's, yeah. and that's all from this. Yeah. That, that they social media really helped with that. Yeah. They have been told, Hey Google, Hey Alexa, Hey Siri, what's the answer? So there's no discernment. There's no critical thinking skills. And then when you get the answer instantaneously, right? The instant gratification world, then it's going to be go along and get along because bro, Google is engineered to make them be that way. Yeah. And, and you mentioned like the fact that, I mean, this little bookshelf here, I got another bookshelf over there. Get your damn books before they disappear because before they're gone. Yeah. Because Wikipedia, Google, all of that oh, stuff my. is literally my. changing histories. It's changing history. It's changing the actual books that people are reading. Insane. So like when someone asks me and someone asks me a question, like it's never, I don't like it when it's asked this way, but it's like, it's asked this way most of the time because it's not really that they're curious to learn. It's really like, well, tell me this genius. And then you're in the middle of explaining this. It's something that, you know, it's came months and months of reading and, and applying. And, and so in some cases, you know, experiments and it's like, 
distill this to me in, in one or two sentences on a comment. And then as I'm writing that, they're asking me the next question because they're not really interested. So it's like what you're saying, they have to seek themselves, seek and you shall find, ask and you know, it shall be given to you, knock and the door will be answered. But you have to do that. Like it's, you cannot just stand there and say, well, I'm going to wait for Jay to tell me or for Danny to tell me. Number one, it's not going to come in that way. You have to put in the work. And number two, it's never going to happen either because I'm not going out of my way to hit people over head, the head with stuff because if it's like Michael J. Fox, you know, when he's playing the, the guitar, it's like, that's a little too much for you guys, but your kids are going to love it. You know, exactly. like you got to be in the right place to receive it. And there's been times in my life where I haven't been in the right place. And guess what? Oh, absolutely. Back then I didn't receive it. And, and, and it was like, but you, you know, I think, I think more and more people are understanding the spiritual side of things and how mm -hmm. important it is, how important like the, the symbolism is that just understanding the way things are being communicated to you and all this symbolism, stop, stop using, like buying into the, the disinformation that's telling you, Oh, that's just a joke. Like every time they play something, it's like they put the the uh, theme from X Files on. It's like I understand exactly what's being done with that. You know, every, all of this is going to be thrown away. You know, you, it's it's going to be dismissed because again, it 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 affects their world so much, and and it's always get, it, it's like this natural path that goes to like why would that happen? Why would so and so do that? Why would the government do that? It's it's like. There's always this thing I always tell people because I've heard this once and I was like, man, this is brilliant. If I were to come up to you and say, hey, your girlfriend's cheating on you. I have video. You know, most people would say would probably want to watch the video. But the way things are now, people are like, well, nope, my girlfriend would never do that to me. I'm not going to even <laughs> listen. I'm not going to watch your video until you tell me why. And then I tell you why. And that's just speculation on my part. And then it always gets to this point, this point. How, how many times have you heard this one? What, what does it matter? What does it matter, Jay? I still got to go to work tomorrow. I still got to pay my bills. And it's like, you still have to do that because you're not looking at this. You're not understanding like your true freedom and your true purpose in this world is not to like run around like a circus clown for, for like, you know, Babylonian rectangles called money. You know, it's, it's like, that's what people are doing, you know, and, and uh, it's unfortunate, but like we can show people, hey, Know your local rancher, know your local farmer, you know, barter, do all the things that would that that you would do if so, for some reason things coll collapsed, you know, because everything is like, you know, temperature checks. OK, let's 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 mess with the meat for a second. Oh, Russian hack. OK, that's what that was. Yeah, they were messing with the meat because it was Russian hackers again. And that was just to see, OK, are they ready for this? Because we need this to to we need to have some sort of control. Cause it's always order out of chaos. It's always exactly. like they create the chaos problem, reaction, solution, and right. then consistently keeping people off balance. Like people talk about these, these FEMA camps and all this stuff. People have been talking about that for decades, but they got it wrong because people are not going to be taken there against right. their will. They're going to be begging for the blankets and begging for the food. Give me the food. Give me the blankets. Give me the medicine. I need the medicine. So that's what people that's what we're saying and that's one of the biggest things i've noticed man and it really it just empowers you so much when you realize that all of this is illegal they haven't broken a law they 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 because they just allow get people to just march themselves in you know like let, let, let them do it on their own that's why when they give you a mask they didn't give it to you they didn't like buy a bunch of masks and just distribute them they let people buy their own masks so you can go and get your little Trump mask or your Biden mask or whatever, and now you're team team they something. They sell them at bulk at Costco. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, but you got to, you know, you either buy it for yourself or you you personalize it. It's always like that, man. And it's always like, you know, they start telling you the thing about the the countries thing, where 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 there's this world where all of these people who are very powerful, and it just so happens that like seventy five percent of them have blue eyes. Like, what are the odds of that? And they all hate each other, supposedly. And we're supposed to hate each other, too, because, you know, different football team, different, you know, flag, different. And then you're just like you just become immune to all of that when you when you really look into this stuff. And then, you know, like, for example, the first time I got caught up in anything political in the last close to 15 years was this last election. Right. Because it was like 
I bought into it. It was like, it has to be Trump because it can't be right. Biden because things right. are so right. And then you realize we that it's did, like, bro. We all they're did. all, yeah, but they're all playing their part, man. They're all actors in this little play. And, why didn't conquer duality, bro? All yeah. of it. And you know, the thing is, is you guys like you and I, and again, again, we, we have to give the credit to the masters because they are masters of their craft and they control <laughs> yeah, things. They control things through harp. And through invisible technology and 5G. And, you know, this is not, you know, if you guys are hearing me say this right now, and I know most of my audience and most of your audience knows this, but I'll just say this. Like, if you think this is conspiracy theory at this point, please unfollow me. Unfollow Danny. I mean, this is. Yeah, they've admitted clear, all of it already. You know, something something that you said that I want to tie into a couple of these points because uh, it's really good is like, so we are right now in what is called from a scriptural or a literal ancient text standpoint, the end times. Yeah. Now, most people have been brainwashed into thinking that the end times means Armageddon, gloom and doom, Nibiru, Wormwood, pole shifts, whatever it is, right? Because there's so much brainwashing by both sides. But in truth, the end times is the apocalypse. And if you understand what the word apocalypse means from the Greek uh, etymology, it's the revealing. Yeah. So we are now in the revealing and the revealing really means all is being revealed. So if you're down here, stuck in fear of everything, your shadow, COVID, wearing three masks, people not wearing masks, or you're in here and you're like us and you're building a future, you're getting off the system, you're creating multiple skills, you're building businesses that don't rely on, you know, whatever, you know, and, and you're in what I would call sovereignty empowered, you know, you have a choice. So I would ask you, knowing that we're in the great revealing, knowing that everything is now being shown to us again, if you have eyes to see it, ears to hear, what is the best strategy for people? Because you said something that I thought was absolutely profound, which is like, you know, they're so enslaved to that Babylonian square. Yeah. The, the the money magic system of the dollar, yeah. you know, whatever it is, the beholden to currency of, you know, you know, fiat. It's like you have to get to a point where you have created a world where money is just energy and you are going to exchange that energy for the good and the service that you are putting out there again, hopefully at your highest and best capacity to creation, you know, you with all of your affiliate stuff, you with the things that you do with Mara. I mean, you've got millions of different income streams. So, so do I. I mean, but like people who are beholden to that cubicle job who tell you, well, what does it matter, bro? I still got to go to work tomorrow. I still got to get that paycheck twice a month. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what would you say to people right now who are still with that attitude, knowing that, you know, the revealing is not the end of days. The revealing is the revealing. It's being, you're being shown everything regardless of whether you want to deal with it or not. What would you tell them right now as the best strategy in living their life? I think the, the number one thing to say is, is to tell them right now, you have a choice. Always. You always have a choice. The minute you think you don't have a choice, you're being lied to. There's always a choice. And like people right now, we're at the point where these choices are only affecting moving around, you know, from continent to continent, you know, um, having like convenience. We're not even at the point where they're threatening. And a lot of it is a bluff. You know, a lot of it is a bluff. You know, we're not even at that point, though, but we're, we're not at the point where they've, they've cut the food supply or they've, you know, created another fake war. You know, there's they, we're not even there yet. So the fact no. that, you know, people need to, to, to become a lot more aware than they are right now because the fact that people are folding at this point is really sad to me um and i really hope that people understand like you know the minute you're told that you don't have a choice look if it comes down to your job for example because that's a big one you know everybody's like this is the only way i make money and i remember i used to think this way i used to think that my 401k quarter of a million dollar a year medical device job was you know, stable. I had my name on the, on the home office, on the wall of fame It's like all these little, you know, carrots that they dangle. And you know, the minute something happens, it's like, you're on the chopping block. You need to know that like, you're not, things are not as safe as you think they are. So, I mean, definitely multiple income streams is, is huge. 
Um, the other thing is, is look, the whole money thing, you know, as someone who has always been a, a capitalist, I understand now with an open mind, the evils of capitalism. It doesn't mean that I'm a socialist. I would never go in that direction. If you no. want to give your stuff away, great. That's what I'm all about. Like that is free will do it. Um, but you know, it's this, it's this slavery to this system that we got rid of slavery. We just made everyone slaves now. So, right. you know, everybody's a slave now. And now everybody works on, you know, they run on that little treadmill and then they get the paycheck and the paycheck pays for the car that takes you to work. And it's like over and over and over and over. And like, I'm not saying that, that, you know, you can't live without certain things. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, you should just leave it all and become a monk. There's so many ways you just have to look at it differently. You know, I, I, that's what I think is really helpful is looking at it differently in a way that even the word scarcity, because the word scarcity was a big thing for me as a capitalist too. But right. then I realized that it's like, if I put a seed in the ground, it always comes up. We're never going to run out of water. We're never going to run out of dinosaur juice, which they tell us, like they tell us that, you know, we have this, this, these dinosaurs and, and they died and, and we're going to run out of oil. Not that we, not that oil is the best way to, to have energy. We have way better things, that, but we lost that knowledge. We don't have it right now. So everything you're not going to get hit by a freaking asteroid you're not gonna the 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 the, the earth is not going to spin like one degree off its rotation and all of a sudden fly into something else when people learn that dude i just really think it's i i want people to join us because it's really freeing you know and when you see everything that's going on you're just like you're no longer at a point where you're saying is it true or is it false you're at a point where you're like what are they what are they doing with this one like, what's the what's the key to this one? And it's not even that I need to know, because at the end of the day, I have principles, very strong principles that I will not go against. And that's the problem. We've lost that, too, where, you know, it's not cool to have principles. It's not cool to um, have even in some of these areas, traditional views like Maura and I have, like with the with our roles in our relationship and and all that people have been lied to. Yeah. And then they get mad at the people who are telling them that they've been lied to, who are literally just trying to help them out because it's like, exactly. you know, you've been lied to and now you are going through life with all of this extra weight because of this lie, you know, yeah. where yeah. you're, you know, you're a woman going through life and you thought that you had to really just focus on your career because your mom told you, this is what happened with Maura. Her mom right. said, you know, you don't need a man because she had some you know, some bad experiences, even though she's married now. Great. But it's a difference between saying to, to Maura, hey, it's good to be, you know, independent in case, you know, something goes wrong. But you do need a man. I mean, your, right. your kids are going to need parents, of course. two parents. Of course. And and so like all these things, that that's just one example. But we have all these examples. And and it's so odd that it's like the biggest case of, of Stockholm syndrome you, you've ever seen because you're just like, I'm not the bad guy. You know, I'm not the bad. I'm just the guy who's, and why are you getting so angry? It's like, why exactly. do they get, it's a visceral reaction to me telling you that something may not be the way you think it is. I, I'm at the point where I just, I don't understand it. You know, I really don't. And it's weird. Cause it's, like I said, it's the same responses all the time. Right. You know, right. and that's so weird to me like that. It's literally the same every time. Like I, I could have told you what you were going to say, you know? Yeah. So, well let, well, let me ask you a question around that because it's funny. I'm sure you and I have had extremely similar experiences to get us to where we are here. So maybe, you know, so, cause, so my experience to, to, to wrap it up, cause my audience knows is that in 2010, I was literally a super high level senior VP with Kelly Blue Book, KBB.com. And we had built their automotive division from zero to 30 million a month in recurring revenue. I was the nice. second highest paid guy in the company, higher than the president. Uh, my boss was like lateral to me. And then there was one other guy who was like the, new, the newest uh, champion who was paid a little bit more. And they literally brought all three of us into a corporate strategic meeting in early January. I just had my baby daughter, Gabby, who's now 11 born. And bro, the president just put us all in the street, the three highest paid guys in the company. And all of us were looking at each other like, because we had a really awesome year in 2009, like what just happened? And I remember going to the restaurant after they summarily, you know, 
Because when you're in a corporation, as you know, and they remove you, you're escort, escorted out by security. That's nuts, dude. Right? Wow. So pushed into the street. We all three went to Javier's in Irvine by where corporate Kelly KBB corporate office was. And I was there for eight years, bro. I made like, you know, half a million dollars a year for five years that I was there. Amazing. Anyway, wow. get to the street. I get to the thing. We're all just looking at each other in shock, right? Bomb, just bombarded. Now, obviously we're all wage slaves with who we are. I, I was literally almost 40. I was 39. And I literally remember texting my, my team. I had 29 people that reported to me saying, Hey guys, like, uh, I don't work here anymore. I have no idea other than that. And everyone in the company was like, what the hell's going on? But anyway, dude, fast forward a very long, crazy story. Four days later, I got a text from my guy who was my head guy who worked underneath me saying, I don't know how to tell you this, but Kelly Blue Book just got sold to Auto Trader for hundreds of millions. I didn't even know that. Wow. Dude, and check this out. They and saved they saved on your they on your stock. They saved paying us 265k each in owed bonus. Wow. Just just at our tenure. My guy below me says to me, I don't know how to tell you this. Not only did that happen, but we're each getting blank. So he's like, uh, dude, I, they, they, they fucked you guys out of probably close to a million in stock. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. And so at that point, it was the greatest thing that could ever happen to me. Now, obviously at the time it's like, holy shit. But that gave me the reality that you said, and I want to use you a better analogy from a standpoint that you can use now forever is that you are never anything more, whether you're the CEO or the mailroom clerk than an employee ID number at a corporation. hundred percent. Yep. You are an employee ID number and they can remove you in a blink of an eye, as you said, right? You 250 yep. guy plus your bonus. And they, you know, the accountant comes in or the new CFO comes in and they start looking at you and they're like, you know, his guy makes more money than me. Their first strategy is to get you gone. Yeah. I'm going to replace you with two or three people that make the same. Exactly. So in their mind, they don't think of the relationships or the Danny Vega, the Jay Campbell, you know, brand and all these things they are just bean counters. They're just literally yep. mercenary bean counters. How can I add payroll and reduce his salary? So to your point, it was a good story to be told because until people get to that place, and I would say that that was one of my dark nights of the soul. I mean, I literally just had a, you know, a, my daughter was two weeks old when they did this. Always happens at that time, doesn't right. it? Right, <laughs> but, but, but obviously now here we are 10 years later and I am, you know, so much better off as are you. But the reality is, is that to, to your point, these people in the cubicles, the slaves, with the, what is it, what does it matter, Danny? This is what my life is about. They almost have to be pushed to the limit, whether it's again, a dark yeah. night of the soul, a suicide attempt, a, 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 a wife or a child dying. There has to be something that crushes their reality prism so that they can now like overcome that obstacle to rise above and beyond and become somebody else. But until that happens, dude, that would be my argument. You and I will never figure out why these people can't change because they will literally choose the blue pill yeah. and enslave themselves and tether themselves to social media, watch CNN at morning in the morning at work and see, you know, MSNBC at night or Fox or whatever it is they want. Yeah. And just, dude, like you said, go on and on, continue to repeat, lose their job, find another, lose their job, find another, lose their job, find another until basically they're 65 or 70 years old. They have nothing to show for it. And where are they now? You know, because they never decided to, you know, explore or experiment and take ownership of their self. Yeah. And like, you know, it's, it's the other thing about it that really is so sad is that there's, there's never any attention paid to this moment right now where I'm like thinking about, you know, yeah, every matter. morning when I hug my son, you know, and, 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 and like when I pray with them at night, like those are things that will never be taken away from me. And if I just say not right now, not right now, you know, and it's like, it's always like, no, I'm going to be with them more later. It's going to always happen right. later. Always and it's, it's, right. you know, you know, the cats in the cradle, man, such a good song for, for revealing that to people where it's like, now you're in that place and your son's like, all right, dad, uh, sorry, I'm busy, man. You know, <laughs> Bro, that's how you taught him too. Kids that don't even know that song. Yeah, yeah. No, they don't even know that song. Yeah. And, and because that's the <laughs> other thing, the music now is like everything has sunk to such a level 
<laughs> such a level, dude, that it's like, you know, it's not even, it's, it's, it's totally different. And, and I think, you know, that was a big thing for me, like looking at now, if I look at something in Hollywood or in the music, I'm, I'm tearing it apart to see what the message is. It's not really for, for, ed, ed, you know, entertainment. And, you know, it, it really has always been that way, but I didn't know, you know, I just, I never looked at it that way. Like when I'm walking around at Disney with my magic bands, you know, like, and it's like, you know, every, every word, everything has a significance and, you know, at the end of the day, you still have free will. So it's not like people right. are going to be led to the slaughter, like tricked, because that's not what we're saying. Like they are going to try to trick you and you should, because the knowledge is there, you know, it's the difference between ignorance and what's the other one where you don't, you just don't know. It's uh, whatever that's called. Nescience, I think yeah. like nescience and ignorance. It's like, you know, one is like absence of knowledge. The other one is willful willfully not just rejecting choosing something right. yeah and right. so right. that's what most people are doing you know they're, they're they're all kind of stuck in that and and the same stories over and over and over and we and now i'm telling you if you start asking questions it really is helpful because you don't just you don't get caught up in this thing where like trump is going to come on a white horse and <laughs> you know literally go against everything he's been doing everything he's been saying um that's a, that's a big one dude that one right there i really think that that one was just straight up like one of these think tanks used their ai right. to put well, a absolutely. bunch of stuff together no they you did because all of this they, is they happening too. trump they chose trump when they knew that they couldn't get hillary in because she was so demonic yeah. so that's when they 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 threw the with the you know the, the game of three card monty okay look yeah. i want to do this last bullet point as the end of this show and then i want me and you to do another show and we'll end up making it like an elitist biohacking show we'll talk about your children's book oh we'll talk yeah, about the things, but we'll talk about the things that you and i are talking about doing as far as partnering together to write yes. a book on like the most elite things that someone can do to take their physique to the highest level so that will be the next show but the last point for this show because it's been an amazing show is and it's perfect is why people should throw away and this is your point and i love it why people should throw away all the other pills including the red pill the blue pill and the black pill to take the white pill and before you answer you and I had this conversation before this show about how like both of us now have put enough out there. Yeah. If that's you true. know us and you follow us, you know where we stand. We don't have to go down that path anymore. Now it's about feeding our family, ensuring that we are moving into quote unquote, the golden age. We're manifesting the golden age. You know, I say this every time when people say to me, like, dude, look what's going on. How can you say the golden age is still coming? Because I'll say, you know what? If I have to go to my next lifetime to create it, it'll be then, but it's coming, right? So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am resonant and fully ensconced in the quote unquote knowing, again, cosmic awareness that it's coming regardless of this shit show that we're currently in. So why must people take the white pill right now, bro? Well, I think like most people are going to have to probably take the red pill first, you know, because it's like you got to get that knowledge. You got to get over the trauma because <laughs> yeah. it is it is kind of traumatic. Trauma drama, right? Yeah, the trauma drama, man. And, and you got to get over that. But like you got to get to the white pill quick because, you know, it, it, again, it, it really just reveals that look at all these people that are living this way already like the Amish are living this way, exactly. you know, the Mennonites, all these people, none of them got COVID, you know, and you ask them why and they're like, cause we don't have TVs, you know, they didn't get COVID. They didn't um, have any issues. They are rooted in the laws of nature. You know, none of this sorcery that, that we call pharmaceuticals and they, you know, and don't get me wrong. I'm the, like you, like we, we, we use certain things that really just enhance areas of our body but this, a lot of it is nonsense and pure sorcery. Like the stuff that they're giving people to help them with their cholesterol and all this other crap that is just killing people, literally taking the opposite of what you should be doing. Um, you, you realize that, that there is this world of abundance and that, you know, you can have these relationships with people and it's okay to, to, to hang around with people that really think like you. Because yeah. you know what it means? It means that when my kids are playing with their kids, I don't have to worry about what's going to happen when they get into an argument and none of us are going to step in. We're all going to let them, you know, take exactly. care of it on their own. We're not going to tell them, hey, Jimmy, get off the playground. You're going to fall. You know, so like 
there's something really important about like in group preference. And when I say group, I don't mean white and black people. I mean, people with like minded people, exactly. you know, being creating those communities because it used to be a given that we did that. You know, right. we kind of we kind of always did that. Now it's like even where I live in suburbia, you know, gated community. Most of the time, it's just a hello. You know, I don't know most of my neighbors. I know some <laughs> of them. You know, you just wave at them all the time. But you got to get connected with people because we are we we need that. Like everything that they're saying, six feet away. It just so happens that you can't even vibe with someone at six feet. Like you can't. Our epigenetics aren't are no longer communicating with each other. Exactly. You don't. I can't get your vibe. You know, I don't know what your vibe is until like I'm kind of like closer. It's with It's all you. energy, dude. Yeah, all of it is energy. Yeah, so we don't, we don't, we reject that. We reject like all of the things that are in our senses, you know, like our common sense, our five senses, and all the other senses that we haven't, you know, identified. Whereas, how is it that I can, I, I know someone's looking at me behind my head? How, how, Jay? Like that, that, that doesn't get explained by anything. So, like understanding those things and then understanding, I think also really important that people, are okay with not knowing because there's certain things that maybe you won't know them your whole life here. Maybe it'll take some time and you'll know it. But the bottom line is you don't have to know, you know, it's okay to not know everything <laughs> that exactly. they want. They want this nice, neat answer. Well, that's because of this. And then it's like, okay, but why, how did you arrive at that? Well, because CNN told me or because, <laughs> you know, like, Hey, Danny, I looked into that thing you told me, but I Googled it and nothing happened. Well, yeah, of course you Googled it. I mean, what do you think is going to happen when you use Google? But like you get empowered and you become immune to the BS. If you just connect with your local people, you, you stay out of the fear porn, you stay out of like, even honestly, I don't think it's helpful to watch current events. We get it just through social media. We're of told, course, right, right. I, I'd, I'd rather know, listen. Dude. Yeah. Sure. I'd rather listen to like Crow. I know you, you know about Crow triple seven. These of people course. are talking about having a higher mind, using your adult brain, and exactly. really there's never this commentary on local, on, on, on current events. It, it works its way in, but it's more about like principles, having some principles. You know, if you don't have principles, what's, what happens? You vote Republican or Democrat. And then it, exactly. it's like, how does that even make sense? Like everything that a Republican starts, a Democrat finishes it and vice versa. There's a continuation of power. There's always, and then, you know, you criticize the other party when they do it, but then when someone in your party does it, where are your principles? Right. So you, you got to stand strong in your principles. You got to get more local in everything you do. Um, take the time to, you know, some of these things, I'm a slave myself, dude. Like I, I can't find certain things. Amazon it is, you know, that happens. Of course. Quite often, course. like you need a piece for something and you, you know, you don't even want to look on the, on the, on the shelf. And of course, you know, whatever that uh, corporation from uh, Wally is, that's straight up Amazon, dude. Like, that you know, is. they own the, the umbrella everything group, they own, they own everything. everything. And, everything. you know, like think about, you know, again, it's funny because the things that I'm saying now, back then I was like, oh, I don't, I don't go to the mall, you know, I don't go shopping period. But at, at the same time, there's something about going to the mall and being with real humans Right. Versus this, everything is like on your computer. You don't, you know, you don't go outside. You don't do anything, and it's getting more and more like that. And the further we get, the closer we get to that becoming, going from de facto to written in stone. And so, like, it's so important that we continue to hug each other. We continue to to have in person things. And like, if you're waiting for someone like us to lead, I'm gonna do it. But at the same time, you gotta take care of your own stuff. You gotta lead in your home you have to you have to say no and you have to know that you always have a choice man beautifully stated man uh, i'll just add uh and you guys here's all da uh, danny's uh places that you can find them fat fuel family instagram danny vega.ms uh youtube fat fuel family instagram unexplainable adventures of course unexplainable adventures.com we will do a very significant deep dive probably next week when you and i can find another hour to an hour and a half to talk about like, i'm down you know, Bro, we'll do, we, we will, we'll do, we'll do mastery of fitness, uh, biohacking, fat loss, you know, all the things that we're like gurus in. So we'll, we'll, we'll go deep down that path. And then we'll of course talk about your children's book, which I think is really important. Uh, and then also you can talk about, you know, you're the most amazing 
before and after Dude, ever. When season. Ben saw this, Ben, like, you know, I told you, Ben was like, we were doing these back and forth video <laughs> messages to keep in touch. He's like, Dude, what the hell happened to your hair? I think he texted you at this right around that same time. <laughs> he did. All right. So let me just say, follow this amazing guy. But, you know, just to, to tie it all together, you know, he, he what, what he said is absolutely true. Like, you have to become resonant in who you are as a being. I mean, you cannot choose to become a transhumanist biobot NPC. And, you know, I would definitely say that, and again, we don't know the future, but it looks like the bifurcation by them is to create a world of zombies. Yeah. You know, I, and, and it's different. It's, it's different. It's the transhumanism. It's the genetics. Like right. they're just hedging their bets and they're putting them exactly. everywhere. Because exactly. they're all different paths, but they kind of lead to the same place. But you, as you said, and we can end it on that, is that you know, choose humanity, choose to be with other human like of like mind locally. Take your daughters or your sons or your you know family to the mall to be with other humans. Have regular meetups with other human beings again of like mind, but again, preserve this empowered, sovereign, free you know component of human beings. And opt out, which is the ultimate message of them, because them, as you said, is nothing but an inversion. All yep. is a lie. It all ties back to each other. It's all, again, like you said, like the duality of polarity. It's like they want you attached to one side or the other, whether it's the political thing, the religious thing, the social media thing, the television thing. You have to opt out. You have to be creative. You have to have a mission. You have to have a purpose. I mean, obviously you can follow guys like us and it's very simple to do this. And again, if you are one of these people who's a wage slave right now and you're like Danny and Jay, it's so easy for you guys because you guys opted out of the system. We were wage slaves too. Yeah, dude. And my we, wife wasn't working. I had, you know, a mortgage and two kids. And right. you know what I was thinking? I'm going to show them by doing this now because I did it at what? At 36 Yep. Instead of, you know, at 36 that you can pick your life, you can choose it. Will there be trade-offs? Sure. If my son wants to be an artist, you know, unless he becomes like uh, this huge artist, he's going to have a certain lifestyle, but th exactly. that's not a bad thing. That's not no. a bad thing. You know, it's what like, is like enough? that's what they have to, you get to get yes. to what is enough. What is enough? Yeah. Like you can have enough and have a competent content, a contented life. You don't have to have shiny things and so much money in your bank account. It's literally like, what do you define as enough to create a sense of joy and have that purpose where everything you do every day, like your son creating art, if he's content doing that, who gives a shit how much money's in his bank account? There's that's, no that's difference. That's exactly what I say, man. Yeah. And like, it's like those, uh, you remember those, it was like this one meme that was going around like five, 10 years ago. And it was like, somebody tell these people that they don't have internet or, and it's like, they're, they're in like, uh, uh, they wake up every day and they see that waterfall every single day. They have food. That's way better than internet. Yeah. They spend time with their family and their group. And it's like, they're so connected. You know, and and bro, I think that's where you guys like you and I want to go. You know, when I you spoke, you mentioned Ben, we're talking about Ben Pakulski, BPAC. You know, we we talked last Saturday for an hour, and you know, he was like, "Dude, I'm you know, I'm building this community. It's a planned community in Costa Rica. You already know about it." He's like, yeah. "I want guys like you and your families to come there. You know, let me know when you want to find out more." And so, I really think that people like us, him, and others. Again, there's many. That's where we're end, we're going to end up. If this planet does, yeah, because we're always the early adopters. We're always the but, early but adopters. If this planet does bifurcate completely, and the it's the transhumanists versus the humanists, the humanists are going to have colonies like what he's building, like where you and I will ultimately end up, yep. of like-minded people, essentially communing together of a like-minded strategy. We'll be farming. We'll yep. be homeschooling our kids. We'll be building infrastructural communities. There will still be technology. There will still be broadband internet that we will still be able to coach and to, you know, do the things that we do, consult, have courses, lead, whatever it is that we do, you know, have shows. We, just, hey, we create, man, we're going to create something. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. That's the answer. Like yeah. you just have to be, you know, in this world, which is a creator for versus of this world, which is a consumer. Yep. And that's where the transhumanist will be is just consumption, consumption, consumption. And the humanist, if that's what I can call us, will be the creators. And we will still be creating a beautiful, perfect love-based reality that's based on human connection.
hundred percent, man. That's, that's it. That's, that's the goal. Because like, if you don't and you become, and you stay that consumer, then are they really lying when they call you a useless eater or they call you profane? You are profane. You're looking at all this porn. You're looking at all this ridiculous entertainment all day. You're, you're, you're spending and spending with no, you, you're, you're, you're playing into exactly what they, what they call you. I, you know, Marcus Aureli said the best thing, you know, you could do to your enemy is to not be like him. So don't exactly be like right. them, you know? That's exactly right. Danny Vega, I love and appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming on the Jay Campbell Podcast. To all of you guys, again, go to his uh, social media sites, fatfuelfamily.com, igdannyvega.ms, one of the best followers on Instagram, bar none. <laughs> Fat Fuel Family on YouTube, Unexplainable Adventures on IG, and then unexplainableadventures.com. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see you guys. Actually, Danny and I will see you guys very soon. And it's part two. Love it. Thanks, brother. Love you too, man.